Oy vey. Oy vey is mere. Okay. There's been a couple of people out there still trying to propose that there is a difference, that there is a necessary distinction in evolution denoting micro and macro evolution. I think, and the majority of the scientific community thinks, that this idea is bullshit. The basis of this is arbitrary and uh, necessary to believe in the legitimacy of Genesis as a creation story. So I ask anybody who can answer this question, where is the limitation of the ability of DNA to mutate so that you cannot get multiple new species from an original species? Where is the the chemical limitation of DNA to mutate? Where's the border? Where's the end zones? Where's the limits on that? If there are, if you can't find any, then the theory of evolution as a whole piece and not divided into micro and macro is sound. If you can find a chemical basis for the limitation of the mutation of DNA, then so be it. And if you can't, then shut the fuck up. And stop trying to put pseudoscience in the heads of kids who don't know any better. Pissing me off.